Hello! Hi. So you know what happened last week? Let's just get into it. Yeah, I posted it. We're, we're live on my Instagram. You know, and I, I checked it. I did not it. share it. I know, I checked it and we had a lot of views on our episode that went up yesterday. You, we did? Yeah, but I don't think it was from my Instagram. I think it was again from my, because I put the foot fetish thing in. <laughs> and there's traffic coming through from the foot fetish thing. Because we talked can about it again. Can you see what the traffic is pulled from? Yeah. So like you can see like if somebody's. Here, I could go get it. I could show you. Okay, you guys. I did talk to my husband about our OnlyFans. Luke is on board. With the foot thing. And I said, I, I don't like think like pornography, like having sex on camera is not my jam and whatever. Do you, but it's well, not we'll for us. There. No. <laughs> and so I was like, Luke is me showing my feet and Colin drizzling honey on my toes pornography. And he goes, well, to some people. And I was like, Oh, can we do it then? Is it appropriate? You got a long hair. That was so Oh my god! <laughs> Whose hair is that? Well, I was laying on your couch, so oh, it's, it's probably, probably your hair. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so look, so here's our view count. So okay. here's the good one. And then you go to analytics. I love that that's the picture you picked. Why? I just think it's funny. I think it's cute. I know. Okay, and then so discovery. So traffic source. YouTube search term foot fetish is 69%. Oh my god! Only pants feet 4.6. Foot feet fetish. Me fetish podcast. Foot fetish talk. 2.3%. Oh my god. Yeah. So people don't just love us because of us. They love us because they think they're going to get feet. I think so. So maybe we need to talk more about feet. Maybe that needs to be our topic of choice. Maybe like we just got to hook them in with saying See, and feet. so this one, foot fetish was 100%. But does it tell us how many people? No, it just says the percentage. Oh, so it could have been one person. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, so isn't that okay, interesting? That is interesting. So, I mean, whoa. So Luke's not like against the foot club thing. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out my angles because you sent me that snapshot and my double chin is on flex. <laughs> okay, we're going to have body positive images oh, right. for our daughters, right? Right. Oh my god, have you seen that jaws or jaws or size thing? Have you seen it? Yeah. That thing you put in your mouth? No, no, no. Oh, you you're put it in your mouth? I kind of want to get it. But you know my jaw clicks already. Could you imagine? Well, maybe it'll help strengthen it. So whenever Tavia eats a piece of beef jerky, it's if, like... If I eat anything, it clicks. Like, you can hear it right now, can't you? Ew. <laughs> it clicks. Ew. So, anyway, I want to get the jaws size thing because it tightens your your profile. Should we just get that cool sculpting for head thing? I don't think cool sculpting is for your face. I think it's for no, your No, I body. just watched some guy on tiktok -y do a cool sculpting on his okay. double chin. And he left looking very scary. But did it work? I don't know. It, he didn't give, like, a follow-up post, which is annoying. I heard that the cool sculpting hurts. It it's does. Like burning I heard the it. Fat. Yeah, I heard it hurts really bad. You know what I want to try is the Vela shape. I've been telling you this for years. It's supposed to like... Is it like Kybella? It's supposed to... I don't know what that is. Kybella is like a needle where they... Kybella! <laughs> yeah, that's what it... They like inject it. So a lot of people do Kybella here in their neck. Okay. And they like... It's like a needle and they inject this serum, if you will, into your neck and it like eats your fat or something. No, it's not that. It's okay. a machine... And it's supposed to sculpt your body, like you do it on your tummy, and like you can sculpt the areas that you want to like tighten and firm. And why haven't we tried this yet? I don't know. I'm on every kick, you know me. And now I'm on intermittent fasting. Yeah, how's that going? Well, I will say my energy level is pretty high for not having any consumption of food in yeah, the last. Yeah, well, you're almost... also guzzling a a big gulp of. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro cold brew. It's just regular cold brew, okay. and there's a lot of ice in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I would say your energy. That's a cute cup. It's got like... Confetti. Is it on the outside? No, it's on the inside. Like, oh, okay. It's like a dual layer. Cute. Anyways, I'm trying... I'm on every fat. You know that. Eat okay, every so three hours. fasting is... It's... Explain it, because I don't really... I know. don't... Honestly, no. Everybody's just like, try it with me. And I'm like, okay. Who's everybody? Ashley. Oh. <laughs> so there's an app? 
No, yeah. I don't know what that is. She just was like, this is the app I use. So you can like press fast when you start, which it's like, if you know you stopped eating at 7.30, just add 16 hours. Yeah, but it told you you're in ketosis. Ketosis or something, yeah. I don't I don't know what that means either. I think that means you're in fat burning mode. And when you're oh. in fat burning mode is when you get your energy. Ah, uh, woo! Woo! <laughs> so, okay. but So I just like it. ketosis is different than doing the keto diet, right? I, I don't know. I think so. Is there a book that goes along with this that you're supposed to read? No, I feel like I've read a couple things online and I've... Watch some people's inspirational stories. What is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does my hair look darker today? I think it looks good. I think it looks very uh, highlighted and contoured. Thank you. I know this girl. Um, Should I name nameless? What girl? The girl that does my hair. Oh. She doesn't have a name anymore. Yeah. I was on the phone with her and she's like, make sure you talk to me. No. Nope. Or talk about me. Negative. Not talking about you. She who shall not be named. She who shall not be named. Um, Why do you have a suitcase out? <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Yeah, we're leaving. Oh, yeah. But That's da a really big suitcase. Well, Daddy was trying to fix the lock. Because didn't you ever hear when we went to Disney, like, two trips ago, that the girls stuck the, like, the zippers into the lock thing, and they changed the number? I don't know what happened, but they uh -huh. recoded it. So we got to our final destination at the hotel and Luke cannot get it opened and so we had two suitcases one with I think my clothes and one child was in that suitcase and then the other bag not one child like one child's clothes yeah not the kid <laughs> the kid wasn't in let's there let's clarify yeah her clothes were in there and it was probably Olivia's so it's like the two worst people to have their suitcase be locked right full meltdown full meltdowns daddy went down to oh this is when we went to Newport this was in July we went to Newport. Daddy went down to the main desk and was like, excuse me, do you have any, by chance, weird question, like the TSA key to open locks? They're like, no. He's like, by any chance, do you have a couple paper clips I could borrow? Paper clips? Daddy, you gonna, Daddy you came, break into it? Daddy came upstairs, freaking MacGyvered it. No. Opened our suitcase and he was like, does nobody he touch the things. Did he watch it like a YouTube video on how to do this or did he um, just know how to like pick locks? No, I don't remember if he watched a YouTube video. He doesn't know how to pick locks, but he just kind of started. It sounds like he does. He got in there and he opened our suitcase. Oh, good for him. See, I know. He's handy to have around. He is handy. So he brought it up to be like, I wonder if I should try to fix this before. Well, what's wrong with it? The lock is still broken. So if somebody puts the, the things in the lock, yeah. then he's going to have to try to MacGyver it again. Oh. Yeah. So we just need to get that fixed. Well, it looks like a nice suitcase. Oh, my grandma gave it to us. She got it for free. From it's like hard-sided. <clears throat> it's very large. Samsonite. It looks like I could fit in there. It's like the best suitcase. Do you ever go over your weight limit? Yeah. I would imagine. But you know what's great about it? If we could show it. Like, it's. I'll show you afterwards. It's like... My grandma got it because she spends a lot of money in Vegas and they send her free things all the time. They sent her a free suitcase. That was the suitcase. She, they sent it wow. to her, but my grandma's like, that's too big for me. Right, yeah. So she gave it to us, which is probably like, I don't know how expensive that thing was. Well, what brand is it? Samsonite. Oh, wow. Nice. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I mean, enough about our suitcase. Uh, yeah, we are going to go somewhere. We're going to Arizona and, and the weather's looking a little... Touch and go. Oh no, what is it supposed to be? I don't know, mid 60s, maybe oh. low, maybe like 70. So Luke said he was researching. <laughs> do we love Luke? Why, what did he do? He was researching what temperature a pool should be heated at. <laughs> okay, and what did he, what were his findings? Uh, well, his findings. Is he gonna email the people and be yeah, like, this is the, this exact is the temperature, temperature that I want? Yep, that's exactly, he said, I don't care how much it costs, just make it that temperature. Yeah. He's mine for what, life. What? What? I don't know, like 82 probably. Yeah. Hmm. He's like, I wanted to feel like bath water if it's cold outside. Right, yeah. So, I mean, at the end well, of the did day. I, I told you that, did we talk about this before about our pool not being heated? In? In Arizona? Yeah, you went in the summer. Well, it was still freezing. Like, I don't get when people say, like, you don't need to heat a pool during the summer. Like, it can be cold. Like, yeah. Like, the pool can be cold. Yeah. So we paid for, for, like you guys, to have the heat turn on in the pool. Yeah. We could never... Get it to go on. We could never really tell if the pool was being heated or not. The hot tub would heat up, and it wasn't like a hot tub that was hot all the time. Like yeah. you had to turn it on for twenty minutes, and then it would heat up. Oh, it would God. heat up, 
but the pool never really got warm. So we would turn on the hot tub and it was like one of those waterfall things. So we'd try to like slosh the water. I mean, it was, it was, oh, it no. was kind of cold. Yeah. No. So we're going to need, we're paying $60 a day. We are 40. Well, it better be warm for $60 a day. Right. And it, it says that they can control it from their phone. So they can like just turn it on whenever. Oh, that was the other thing too. So at our house, oh, you no. saw the house. The I house did. was nice, right? Mm -hmm. But they had cameras. It was a nine bedroom home for three people. No, it wasn't. How many bedrooms? There was one, two, three, four. And there were five bedrooms. For three people <laughs> and two of them shared a room. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> There's definitely like a part of the, the house that we did not go you into. You didn't even touch base. Right. Okay. Wait, they had cameras? They had cameras in the backyard that were pointing like towards the pool. And I, it's probably for security reasons that people like yeah. swimming in the pool, but also like it, that's kind of creepy though, right? That you're in the I pool know. I and they're think watching it, you. I've never, I've actually never done an Airbnb before. Like I've never picked one and paid for one. This is my first time. What do you mean? Like I've never, I've stayed in one Airbnb. Where was it? In uh, Buena Vista. Okay. When the, there was like a girl's trip a few yeah, years ago. right. And I mean, I slept on a pullout couch. Oh. So it was a two bedroom house and there was at least seven or eight of us. Oh, that's no. Listen, I love being invited to things. Okay. Not um, like that. No, I'm 34 years old and I can spend $250 a night on a hotel room. So I would love to bump our budget. Yeah. To see if we could get a better house. But nobody asked me and I got the invite. I probably got like the backhanded invite anyways because I did get the pullout couch. Right, yeah. So, I mean, that's like a whole nother topic. I would have thrown a fit. Like that would not have gone down like that. I think I only, I think we only spent one night there. So. Yeah. So anyways, long story short, I still was all freaked out because I was like, the lockbox, we had to access through a lockbox. Well... That's what we do for a living. So I don't know about you, but do you not remember lockbox codes? Like it's... No. Oh, well, I do. And the girl, one of the girls had the code and she had said it one time. Well, it's in my head now. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking to myself, can we take the key out of that lockbox, please? Because I'd like to know that nobody else knows the fucking code to that lockbox and it's going to walk in the door while I'm sleeping. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They left the key in the lockbox so that nobody lost the key. That's probably what I would have done. Oh my God. And so, I mean, good news is that I left and I forgot like my breast pump. I was, I just had Savannah. No, this was only like a year ago. No. A year or two ago. No, no, that was a different trip. So I've stayed in two now. Oh, okay. okay. I've stayed in two. All right. So this was a while ago. So anyways, I had to sneak back into the house at like five in the morning. Thank God I remember the lockbox code because I just broke right in. Everybody's sleeping. Right. I walked through the front door. Yeah. Could have killed them all. Yeah. <laughs> Could have killed them all. Not one person woke up when the riggedy door was like, and opened. Well, was there like a, a buckle lock or no. anything? Because I'm thinking that like that freaks me out about VRBOs too, because I always feel like there's cameras and like That's they're what watching I like. you. Yes. But at the same time, in a hotel, like, do you know how many people have the key to that door? I know, but we have the, and the. That's true, but I never. What? I never do that. I know, I should, probably should. Oh my I'm too God. trusting. Yeah, you are way too I like, I will slide a chair up against the door. <laughs> like, so there's this one room at the house that we're going to that has like two little twin beds and a foosball table. Mm -hmm. But from the picture, you can tell that there's a door that goes to the outside because it's got like a, I'm like, nobody's sleeping in that room. Absolutely not. That room is dead to me. I'm not putting my kids in the room with a door. That can be easily unlocked and they could go outside? Yeah, oh, yeah. no. And it's got a glass window. But what about an adult? Maybe the girl that's meeting you there? No, I think we have enough rooms that that one can just be... How many rooms do you have? Six. Oh. And we need five. Oh, so that one's off. Anyways, okay. I'll... Like, I'll lock that one out. I'll, yeah, I'm probably going to push the foosball table up against it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. And, like, what if you just want to walk around naked? Like, are they filming you? I don't know. Well, there was and cameras in the Carbondale one, that, or the Steamboat, or whatever I went to the last time. Was mm -hmm. it Steamboat? Mm -hmm. There was cameras throughout that whole, there was one in the kitchen just like. Really? Yes, there was cameras throughout the whole house. That's creepy. So I'm like, there's 13 girls in this house. Right. On the mountain, like we could have walked to get on the ski lift. So it was yeah. a beautiful home. But I'm like, there's 13 girls in this house. 
I was, of course, the only one when everybody fell asleep, went around and made sure all the freaking doors were closed. Yeah, I don't do that. All the windows were locked because one of the doors was wide open. What do you mean wide open? Well, like somebody went to shut it, but it didn't like, you had to like give a little elbow uh, or shoulder. Yeah. And it didn't. A little effort. Yeah. No, I even put the bench in front of the front door and then everybody woke up and was like, what's happening? I'm like, I feel like there's a happy medium. Maybe you're a little neurosis about it, but maybe I'm a little lax about it. There's got to be someone that's there's in the middle. There's got to be a middle. Burner. A middle ground. We don't have to move, rearrange the living room to <laughs> block out all the exits. <laughs> what if there's a fire? We you ever ooh, think about that side ooh, of things? Yeah, no, I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. Well, listen to me. If there's a fire, you know you've heard those stories where moms flip cars because yeah. they're just like adrenaline. I promise mm. you I will rip a door off of a hinge mm. to get a kid out. Mm. What for what myself? About me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My husband is on his own. Luke doesn't wake up for anything. Yeah. I'm like, Luke, the house will be burning and you are not going to wake up. Yeah. So did I tell you about that uh, story about the gay guy? I'm sorry? I said I think I kind of look pretty. You do look pretty. Thank you. What gay guy? You? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> There's more than just me. Oh, okay. I only know you. No, there was that. I think I told you about the, the he was a gay porn star that had this house and they, some guy lit it on fire. Like, <gasps> oh, you did tell me that. He caught it on his, his uh, what ring? do you call it, ring doorbell that they had two big jugs of gasoline, poured it on the porch, and lit it on fire. That's... Disturbing. Okay, so that is disturbing. So it, I think it was a, a hate crime. He was in the house. He, he was. I feel like you're trying to like. Well, there's justify. More, no, there's more okay, to the okay, story. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I feel like you're you're trying to be like, but he deserved it. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. Um. So anyway, so him and his roommate were there. They barely made it out alive. Like the whole house was burnt down. So then I started reading articles later, and I guess because the house looked kind of creepy when you when you saw it, and I guess it was in like the the satanic district of this like I'm not saying this is right but it was in the satanic district and everybody was saying that like they had like satanic parties and stuff like this and so that they were like if we burn the house and the gays inside I guess them. I don't know oh my god I mean it, it was horrific for me to read this story that like somebody could do that um I don't know and then the story just got weirder by by saying that like it was they worshiped the devil or like had devil parties or I, 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 it, it, it was interesting. I don't know. They watch Hocus Pocus? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, burning down the house just made me think of that. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. You know, people yeah. are sick. Mm -hmm. Sick. Oh, well, let's go back to the devil. Um, oh yeah, how's and... Olivia doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're ghosts. Not that she's the devil. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, yeah, you know, my house smelled like marijuana for a minute. I thought about that yesterday. I was going to ask you, did it air out at all? Or So my dad got here and he goes, why does it smell like fish? And I was like, <laughs> I cooked salmon for call. And he goes, okay, it's strong. And I was like, well, walk upstairs. He goes, what's that smell? And I was like, it's weed. <laughs> um, no, so you know what's weird is I definitely have not seen our floating friend. Oh, really? So, yeah, maybe, but... But it's only been a week. Yeah, but she still isn't just sleeping in her room. So oh. I think it's my... Maybe I need to sage her. Hmm. There was a different, totally different process to sage yourself than to oh. sage a room. So you need to do research on that. Can't More just... research than the ketosis or whatever. Yeah, I'm not doing a lot for this one. I'm just starving myself and I get to eat in approximately... Yeah, and... I know. You keep looking at your watch. <laughs> you the countdown. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Just keep drinking your coffee. Um... Yeah, caffeine's supposed to, like, help curb Ugh. hunger. Yeah, I was, I was going to try to work out because this morning, because they say, like, if you... Are you supposed you, to work out in ketosis? Well, because... I just love that word. I know. <laughs> <laughs> From what I've heard, so feel free to chime in if I'm wrong, um, is that when you're in the fat burning, if you work out, it just only speeds up your fat burning. Like, oh, okay. Just keeps it going. Yeah. Um, but I thought I was going to throw up yesterday, but yeah. I was like, maybe let's work out this afternoon after I get, like... A little food. Right, yeah. Well, because uh, Ryan, my, our trainer, says, I mean, you don't have to do um, fasted cardio, mm -hmm. but he said it's better if you do fasted cardio, like right when you wake up in the morning. Right. That's what But then I get nauseous sometimes, because if I'm not Ooh. hydrated enough, yeah, then I start feeling sick. I got off of just... Because I'll, ha I'll wake up, I have my emergency, which has B12 in it, so that gives me a little... Yeah. And then okay. I have my, my espresso with my mm. protein milk. 
And then, I have a, and then I have a BCAA because you're supposed to drink that. So that's that where he poops, the BCAA. No, that's... Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I had a big the... blowout academy. <laughs> that's all I thought of. <laughs> no, that's the coffee. Oh, I mean, I had to race the... home today. <laughs> After dropping off Olivia, and I had not even had coffee yet. I had a cup of... I had a thing of water and a cup of tea on my way to drop off Olivia. By the time I got off, dropped off Savannah, I was like... Your body's like cleansing itself. I think it is. Because I called Ashley and I was like, oh, um, she goes, that's good. It's getting out all yeah, of Yeah, the toxins. I'm like, and oh, okay, well. Is she, is she, how long has she been on this? On and off oh. since the summer. Oh, okay. But she said she feels she like it? she's losing the weight from the forehead down. So like slowly. And I'm like, so. Oh, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so like her face is looking thinner, but she's like, it hasn't quite hit my midsection yet. I'm oh. like. How long do I have to wait if it starts at my forehead and <laughs> goes down? I mean, I would love to get rid of my gobbler neck. Hmm. Look at that. Okay. Let's, okay. We're, not, we're having positive body image for our daughters, remember? I'm wearing a bodysuit. We need to keep saying that. Your my boobs look really nice. My shoulders look like I'm a linebacker. Okay. We're not going to tear ourselves apart. <laughs> anyway, so I have my BCAAs, which mm. they... It, you're supposed to drink that before your cardio so that your body doesn't metabolize your muscle. Is that like a free workout? I think it's the easiest thing for your body to, okay, to metabolize. Mm -hmm. So I drink my BCAA. So that gives you a little bit of energy because it's like carbs. So your body's eating the carbs and not basically is what it is. So like then I get on the bike and I'm like all jacked up and <laughs> I'm dehydrated. And then I'm, like, <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like going and I'm like, oh, okay, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. <laughs> it's a lot. I don't know if the ride that I took yesterday was just harder than normal for me. Well, because you had no calories to burn. Or I, I had had a, I had made a sandwich, which, I mean, it wasn't like a healthy, healthy sandwich. I made it on a croissant. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I went overboard. Like my first day of fasting, I was starving. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, and then I got on the bike and I was, so Cody and Allie, I feel like are right around like that 7.7 .7 to 7.9 okay. out of 10 when you look yeah, at their levels. Yeah, the difficulty levels. score, yeah. And Jess King or is it Jess Sims? Jess King. Or is there two? I there's like hundreds. Okay, so Jess King, she's the ponytail. Yeah, the okay. redhead. Yeah, lesbian that's engaged. Well, she I don't know if she identifies as lesbian. Oh, okay, but she is, used to be straight and she's now engaged to a woman. Oh, okay, so her. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> be she you. Is great. I love her. Be you. Don't you feel like she's like very motivational? Yeah, she was great. I mean, the house music was, like you said, it was a little mundane. Yeah. Like, I thought it was going to be more. You need to do the EDM. Okay, well, her house music was an 8.2, and I felt the 8.2 in my body. Which one? You'll have, I'll have to see which one it was, because I did a house ride, and it was pretty hard the other day. Oh, my but God. But you wouldn't think it would have been hard based on the way she was, like, we're in the saddle for four minutes climbing a hill. Right. And then you're out, and I'm like, I can climb a hill. And then I was like, I'm going to throw up. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Okay. It was the lack of calories. I it was singing up. Yeah. So I didn't want to die today. Right. Mayday, mayday. So mm -hmm. I didn't work out this morning. So I did a, um, how are we doing on time? Because you didn't do our timer right I don't know. So I, uh. Oh, wow. Okay. Got did you just look up your nose? <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Speaking of, do you see this bald spot on my. Yeah, what happened is that when you wax? I wax and then I got all on my beard and then I had to rip it out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on here. It's like I popped a pimple. Again, remember when I had that thing? Right, yeah. We it's stop the same touching spot. It. This is going away. Yeah. Stop touching okay. it. Okay. And then my nose. Well, I think this Do is... you see my nose? How red it is? is it, what is that from? I think I had a pimple inside. Um, I am like a mess. Are you I don't up? know. I'm a mess. Are you hormonal? I don't think so. Mama not having babies. Hmm. Also, can you take prenatals if you're not prenataling? I would imagine yes. Okay. Are you going to? Should I? I mean, I want to. My hair, my skin, everything was so great on the prenatals. What is it? What does a prenatal do? I don't know. It natals the baby. <laughs> the baby. Your doctor. If just, there's no baby, then why is? It's just helping my hair and skin and nails, maybe. Okay. Whatever. I don't know. What's in it? Like vitamins and. Lots to natal your baby. Hmm. Okay. Did you take it with both the girls? Yes, absolutely. It's frowned upon not to. Just kidding. Really? Did you eat your placenta? No. Why? I did see it, though. I asked to see it. You that did? One. Yeah. Because, so my like? doctor, with Olivia, she had, like, her glasses on. 
I can't remember if they were like rec specs or like glasses. What does rec specs mean? You know, like when you're at the rec center and playing racquetball, you've got oh. like splatter glasses. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that's what it so was. Your vagina but so I could get the reflection and like there's just everything's like coming out of me. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, stop looking at my glasses. I'm like, what is falling out of me? And she's like pushing my stomach. And she's like, blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, what? And then I was like, what? What was that? <laughs> And it was my placenta. And she like pulls it up. It was like this big. It looked like a piece of like like a piece of liver, like meat, like okay. that you buy. Yeah. And then she's like, and this is the flap that holds the baby. And she was like, it's this weirdest thing. And I was like, a flap. Yeah, because imagine like wow. the baby was inside. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, look. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Wait, did you see it both? Wait, this is Olivia? Did mm -hmm. you see it with Savannah? No, with Savannah, I was just like Dead to the world. No, I was just like, I've done this before. Is my child alive over there? Because oh. they were like pulling shit out of her. And I was bleeding profusely, remember? No. Oh, I was hemorrhaging blood. Oh. Yeah. Why? Um, I couldn't clot for some reason. Oh. And then, yeah. How do they clot you? Well, your body's supposed to do it. But if, if it can't, then they give you an enema to help like clot the blood of some medicine. But like, I got up to walk in like chunks of Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> like, okay. They were measuring it because oh. they're like, oh, this is like big clots of blood coming this out of you. This is not good. This isn't good. Oh, wow. And I was like, am I dying? And the nurse was like, I'll let you know. But right now you just, you just focus. And I was like, oh, shit. Focus on what? I, like not dying. Oh. But then like, they're like, you're not clotting. So they're like, I think we're going to give you the enema. And I was like, oh, that's so unfortunate that I have to like roll over for someone to do that. <laughs> but the nurse was so funny. Rolled over. I got a pat on the butt cheek. And she's like, no oh, hemorrhoids. Good for you. I was like, thank you. No hemorrhoids for me. Do you get hemorrhoids when you push out a baby? Yeah, because you like women push for hours that you like can get a hemorrhoids. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. But I got a slap on the ass. I was like, good job. Good for you. And I was like, oh. Can you imagine having that job? Like, okay, bring in the anima girl. Like, <laughs> that's all you like, do all day? I literally rolled over. I was like, I'm so sorry. She's like, why? I was like, this is like what you do. She's like, I do other stuff. I'm like, well, that's unfortunate. Oh. But then when she gives you like a nice... Smack, no hemorrhoids, good job, girl. You're like, thank Made you. Your day. Thank you. No. Push out a baby real nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. I think on that note, we get it. <laughs> I think we're going to end it. Because we're um, coming up on our 30 minutes. Yeah, we miss you. Well, that was, I thoroughly enjoyed that conversation. I haven't heard anything about your birthing experience. So thank you for sharing that with me and the oh, entire world. I, would, I loved my birth experience. We might need to tap on this subject a little bit more yeah. at, at a later time. I will absolutely share birthing stories. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, follow us on... Everything. I need to get this down a little bit better. Yeah, iTunes, uh, Spotify. <laughs> iTunes, Spotify, iCloud, YouTube. UCloud. <laughs> The cloud. Instagram at yeah. Collins Cosmos. Yep. We upload every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Yes, we do. And thank you so much for joining us, and we'll check you on the next one. And that's how the cookie crumbles. All right. Bye. <laughs>